and say. All right. Where's the hidden? Have you got the Hidden City Rollers logo in your whole Twitch? Hell yeah, thing? dude. Hell yeah. Dude, check my Twitch. Have you followed me? <laughs> Sorry, Darius. Playing Legend of Vibrance. <laughs> it just came up on my watch, man. Oh, really? Sorry, <laughs> Tell me how the sound is, if you can uh, have a peek. Well, we can hear you just fine. Oh yeah, it's true. All well, that's all that matters, right? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, okay. I've spammed the requisite channels, I think. Alrighty. So, hello and welcome to a special game. For all you nerd virgins out there, we got a top 8 game between uh, Smurf aka Ronan Morris and Dodi Hideyoshi aka uh, Angus Niven. So this is going to be a pretty good match. Uh, I'm joined oh, by Discord Ben. League, right? Top 8. Top Sim 8 or Discord League. Top 8, baby. I'm joined by um, Simkoff aka Ben and Merlin. How you guys doing? Good. Totally, totally stoked, man. Have you guys I'm been on the really Froffies excited. tonight or what? Dude, I can't get enough of like Alpine Rara. It just like consumes every waking minute. Yeah, it's pretty lovely. Just high game. on Rock again, really. <laughs> so, so I should give <laughs> I should give a brief intro to these players. Um, Smurfs actually the season one champ, so he went undefeated last season. Um, he's had a little bit of a rocky what? road this season, but he this is the top eight, so I think he was like fifth or sixth seed, so he's doing all right. And he's playing Dragon. I'm assuming Dragon Crab, but we don't have access to deck list for this, so we're going to be a little bit in the dark. Uh, and he's against. Uh, Angus Niven, who's a local player to our meta, right? And he's playing Crane. Yep. I wonder if Angus is playing that um, Crane Scorpion deck. Um, I Last time I played him, that's what he was playing. So we might see, you know, Forged Edicts and Fate Worse Than Death. That's that's what he was playing against me uh, in round one, and he absolutely destroyed me. Mm. It is really good. Lots of good cards to go in decks. Look at that. Look at the, the good sportsmanship of the Australian players wishing each other good luck. Yeah, there's some underhand there's some um there's some subliminal venom in those um good luck have fun, though, that's for sure. Ah, us Aussies, <laughs> we're we're all right. Um, yeah, I think the Hideyoshi, Scorpion Splash that sounds familiar to me somehow. The Scorpion Splash definitely helps in this particular matchup because I think um historically Dragon kind of has the wood over Crane in this in this head to head, but um, Fate Worse and Death can kind of help equalize a little bit, I think. Yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty sure if, if Angus is playing a similar deck to what he's been playing in the rounds, I I'm pretty sure there'll be a few Fate Worse and Deaths in there, mm. which uh, Dragon players generally are not huge fans of. But it's yep. a pretty good flip for Dragon. Gash of Swordsmith's always a good one early on. It's not terrible for Crane either. Um, getting a savvy politician on the board early is nice to turn on Voice of Honor. Yeah. No, no Nintendo Master or or, or Nit Nat app, so it's not the perfect flip, but it'll 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 it's workable. Let me see a Doji Challenger straight up. He is not afraid of the feast or famine. This is something that I like. I would play this turn differently. As good as Doji Challenger is turn one, I'm a little more cautious against those fire provinces. It seems it seems a pretty bold play. Unless you got some way out, you know, a way of ejecting. Like if you flop a favorable ground, it's a little more um, standard, I would say. Yeah, I really like a uh, favorable round these days. Oh, so he's actually spent down to zero fate. Yeah, Wait, so he's kind of... What's the dragon play then? He's kind of goading... To dra oh. Smurf's playing second, so he's kind of goading Smurf, saying, do you want passing gold or do you want one dude? And so he's kind of Got it. forced yeah, to buy the so second guy. A little bit of interesting dynasty interplay. I don't see how the dragon player could have passed at that point, though. I think... No, it's way too you greedy. Don't really need... Yeah, you don't need parity, but I think, I think with a challenger on the board, yeah, you, you want some characters. So, looking at, I mean, uh, Smurf still got three fate. So, feast of famine. Even though there's, he's got no characters with uh, with no fate on them, he could easily play a monk of some description, tattooed wanderer, something. Yeah, that's to make it go off. Yeah, it could even be a bit of a bait, you know. Well, speaking of bait, check out that bid one for. Hideyoshi, yeah, transferring three fate from his opponent um, and only drawing one card. That hand must be freaking amazing. 
I am actually yeah, very to... surprised by that. I know I understand oh, yeah. he's playing first, so he wants to minimize damage from the uh, from the potential restoration of balance. But that is that is quite conservative. Maybe cool. maybe he's just got like three test of skills, which is not going to actually be very <laughs> useful because he's only got one fate. But backhanded compliments. I oh, know he's a seeker. Never mind. You actually you actually don't. I don't feel particularly under pressure from Dragon at this point. Um, if you can, if you're the defender on your political conflict, you can use a box to bow either of those characters. Uh, and if they're bowed, it doesn't really matter if they've got attachments on them. So no. I don't feel. I think the military conflict is the one that I'm most afraid of, and I guess I can kind of defend uh, with the challenger on that. So Smurfs found a Pathfinder's Blade, but I don't think the Pathfinder's Blade, which obviously is an amazing card, um, Crane's provinces aren't um, as I guess swingy or yeah, intense. Yeah, they're not, they're not deadly, as, right? Yeah. So they do generate a lot of economy, though. Yeah. which is always That's the point yeah they so kind of face? yeah they kind of um lower variants just just pretty equalized um reward those those province the, the korean province right yeah so yeah. we're seeing a military earth against the feast with doji challenger um so that's kind that of unlucky be... it's pretty unlucky um so smurf's going to collect an additional fate for his seeker Earth seems yeah, the right he, ring, right? Because you want to equalize that hand discrepancy as soon as possible. I think so. Um, Fire is also pretty good, right? With Savvy. Yeah, it's not too bad to hit Feast or Famine just at the moment. You kind of have to hope that... Well, I guess he doesn't have a conflict character. Is anyone surprised by that? Like, if, no, if I'm in no. Smurf's shoes, I kind of want to force Feast to go off. Yeah, but you need a target, right? So need if a target, he doesn't yeah. have a tattooed wanderer or a, or a, any sort of monk, charge would do it as well. You could charge and bu and bonsai his opponent's character. Charge with Ratsugu. Um, yeah, yeah, it's true. I don't think you want to, right? Like, I don't, I don't think Smurf mm. wants to, right? He, uh, if he gets pulled in, he's gonna run away with the favorable ground. Um, because the the challenge is basically doing nothing right now, so. Yeah, I think I, like a wanderer. Also, like think about this, right? Is if he does pull a wanderer, um, you know, Angus can just pull that character in, so he can't take the province with the Doji Challenger. So it might be actually quite difficult. Smurfs probably thinking it's going to be difficult for him to actually lose the province. Yeah, you need to play like an, yeah. a bonsai in your opponent's character, or yeah, which, that's no it's like using yeah, it's only on worth it occasionally. Character. Yeah. I mean, if it if it comes off, sucking two fate from a Doji Challenger turn one is pretty pretty hard to uh, recover from. Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah, but it might end up just cost. Smurfs probably thought, you know what? Maybe he's potentially got enough cards to make that happen, but it could be a massive cost, and and it's not guaranteed to work. Mm. And instead, he's gone for it. I mean, Miramoto's Fury. It's one card, extremely economical defense. And you know what? It's sad that the feast got, got found first up because I don't think it'll ever be attacked for the rest of the game. But, um, you know, economical defense. Yeah, and I guess the problem is as well is that, um, yeah, you've revealed feast. That's great. He's still got two provinces that give him fate, one of which is a resto. So you're going to be, your bids are going to be restricted. And then the other one's manic, um, uh, shameful, which is just a nightmare for Crane. So it's mm -hmm. not like revealing the feast. Yeah, it's good, but it doesn't, it doesn't give you like a free walk like it does against Lion in a way, I think. No. In fact, it just pushes them into other provinces which are just as bad. Actually, you know what? That's probably why there's a bid one, right? Like he's just afraid of um Resto. Resto. Yeah. I think I think I actually think that, that was a good play. Like if I think it was actually not a bad play from Smurf. I think there's something to be said for not overplaying your hand on turn one and not spewing a bunch of resources to try and make Feast of Famine go off. I think conserving those his hand is is not bad and it'll help him win some critical battles down the track so what do you think about keeping think Smurf's next attack is what do you water. yeah here what do you guys think about keeping the initiate um in the conflict and taking the ring I okay so he, he's passed smart. his conflict here this is interesting oh, oh. Smurf just passed his first <laughs> okay that is interesting because i would have gone for the ring of water and unbowed my initiate to be honest yeah, um, it would have to I be military like... military water, right? Because because political, he just bows your guy with the stronghold. Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. 
Uh, and if you got if you got some political pumps in your hands, that would solve the problem for the initiate. Well, it looked like uh, it looks like I'm wrong. He's attacking the the feast again. <laughs> okay, and um, cleverly Smurfs played the ornate fan, so he's making himself immune to the stronghold. However, he's still vulnerable to um, admit defeat. So there's something to be said for playing the the fan pre-conflict and then using favorable to move a guy in to make it two defenders. Maybe. Pretty impressed that Smurfs managed to read the Crane Stronghold. I think a lot of folk believe it's blank. Yeah. <laughs> How could that Stronghold <laughs> be thought of as blank? That's one of the best. Oh, man. I was playing my top 64 game today against uh, Action Johnny. Shout out to Johnny. Good bloke from the UK. And he forgot my Crane Stronghold in one of those conflicts. Kind of. Well, I, I, I think from a, I think there's quite a few versions of that Stronghold that are blank. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Bert, you actually got a shout out on the um, uh, you, on one of the Minds Desire things. Who, who, did, who, did, who did they just play? Travis versus somebody else earlier uh, today. Oh yeah, I was watching Aragon. that game. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. um, it was uh, Travis v yeah Ernagon. Eric, that's yeah. one. Everybody so, go watch that after this. So this current game we've just seen we've seen the old uh, court game savvy politician double honor. So voice of honor is now definitely on and we see it for shame this is pretty rough mm -hmm. although i don't mind so much on the uh the dragon side is he breaking i think he's breaking now right? you gotta you gotta look he at playing breaking. now if you if you've got a monk in your hand a character yeah. in your hand this is the time perfect time now to play it at home if he does though i think that'll be that's next level thinking because personally, I would have played it in the previous. Yeah, conference. I mean that—that's that would be extraordinarily impressive if we see Smurf play the character now. Like that takes a lot of uh, poise to to not just just spew it out on uh, on that uh, first conflict. Ah, I think it turns out he doesn't have it. I think Angus is a, is a good enough player to make sure he has an assassination if he's going back into feast. I reckon he wouldn't go without an assassination. Yeah. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Wow, Unless and he's ready to challenge us, so he's going to be taking favor. Wow, this is a very, very strong turn for Angus. What do you think about that decision to, to first of all, to not use the favorable ground in that first conflict, um, just to claim the ring on defense, and then secondly, to not declare a conflict? I think it was a little bit... I don't know, I kind of want to put I the crane on, on the back foot. Yeah, personally, I think I would have gone for the ring of water, um, because that would have... I think that would have been a better play. It would have allowed the dragon to play two conflicts... Uh, this turn whereas as it is the dragon was just defensive the whole turn and i don't think i don't think that you need to be pushed putting pressure on mm -hmm. i uh, sometimes i think the the other way to look at it like i agree i agree with that but i also think that what um ronan or smurf's been very effective at is getting angus to use a bunch of his uh, resources is now like a four card differential on the hand size um, and there's a big fate, dif the three fate differentials. So yeah, so he's you know, he's managed to exit with a big fate and big hand advantage, which is important. Yeah, and yeah, um, and look, also Angus is still going to be worried about bidding high because Resto is still undiscovered. So if he bids five, he's going to shoot up to, you know, nine cards in hand, including the Imperial Sword. Might, we might see like a bid of two. One or two. I could see Angus bidding two, but yeah. It's a little bit. I think I'd... it's a little bit more difficult now. Um, and your Kuni comes out, and your Kuni can copy the challenger's ability, which is really fucking strong. Yeah. yeah, which means you don't need to necessarily bid as high. So if you are actually worried about honor, you can just you can just use the uh, the Swordmaster and your Kuni to draw some cards. Yeah, there's a lot of options right now. He can also honor himself with the Tagashi Initiate's ability, which is pretty hot when you got a two mm -hmm. fate Yakuni. So the Imperial Palace is out now. So, you know, there's at risk of a, of a uh, next turn Yoshi. <laughs> Could be quite horrible. Yeah. Do you think you might see, you might, we might potentially smurf attack into the uh, palace? I think I, if I were smurf, I wouldn't be using, unless my goal is to like wipe out his board on that first conflict with, with Yokuni's build, um, copying challenger. I would want to scout with a weenie first because running into a shameful display oh, totally agree. can just be devastating, you know? So I'd probably scout with like Con a... Conflict one, Smurf. Con initiate. <laughs> yeah, with the initiate I'm not sure probably. I'm too worried about scouting against... And is there... Oh. 
The thing is, like, three of the provinces don't really do much, but Shameful is is pretty devastating. We got a three glory champ. Yeah. Yeah, but as you say, it can it can sort of honor its. Um. Yeah, I guess yeah, Shameful is probably the one I would worry about. Maybe. So uh, what's the other one? Meditations. Meditations. I think. Oh well, there's the art of peace as well. But I've just noticed that uh, Finger of Jade's been selected as the swordsmith. Oh, cool. Card. And there's like all the dragon decks now. I think they're all bandwagoning Finger of Jade after the. Uh, her after the power of a fate worse than death has been uh, displayed over the last couple of months i think it's uh not only is it necessary i think it's a clever adjustment i think it's it's something that probably mm -hmm. needed to happen a little earlier by the dragon cohort personally the card's really good now they're one of their toughest match fate worse than death which is quite a few these days and, and like that fate was to death just hurts them so bad and look there's a bunch of other cards that make it useful too but you know i think i think primarily it's there to and i think a uh, pretty pretty strong choice these days mm. it's, it's also got synergy with the stronghold it's also just good for stuff like for shame like it, it, it means you're kind of immune to nasty targeted effects mirror Motors fury that sort of stuff yes there's probably there's not, there's not much fear now and the, the pathfinder has played on yeah now that he's dropped those two attachments i mean he can just go dick swinging into uh whatever province he likes well and this is probably he he may have not he may have had the we well, had the pathfinders last turn um and he's pulled this finger of jade from the swordsmith but maybe he was thinking on turn one you know just just keep these resources back like if he loses a province so be it but just chill out and and just just keep things in hand knowing that his big turn was going to he wasn't trying to take three provinces on turn one. Yeah, I, th I think it's becoming more and more common that most decks now don't start their win condition strategy until turn two and beyond. Turn one is really just jockeying to see who can come yeah. out with Unless, more fate and more cards. Yeah, for the vast... I think Lion is potentially the exception to that, but most of the clans, I totally agree. Yep. Lion and Dragon, like if you flopped Get a Ten Master, he would have gone for it, right? maybe yeah 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 for sure but that's but that's a different i think i think when you your game when you're playing dragon if you get a turn one knit and master there is fundamentally different to when you don't get a turn one knit and master yep so you're using the finger of jade here what or the nice pathfinder's thing? blade probably pathfinders yeah because yeah, yeah, pathfinders sure. is specific to provinces whereas or events it's against to cancel events. All right, so we see a political void conflict. He's got five skill. Um, what are we? What are we um, assuming to see from the crane defense here? Hmm. It's a tricky one because if he if he defends with a person he's sort of forced to overcommit because your can drag in another and then kind of sw they can swing in for the second conflict undefended yeah you can he hasn't used his ability yet but it's definitely an option it's one of those abilities think... where in many in many applications of it um you, actually the threat of it is is lasting throughout the entire phase you don't end up using it at all but but having having the option is so mm. is so cool with that ability i think yeah and if you if you don't defend uh does he does he bring somebody in i guess i guess you kind of would bring in a challenger right it's an honored challenger and that's kind of a big deal if yakuni copies the challenger ability brings it in you also I don't see if there's anything the crane player could do about that and it turns off the challenger for a turn i actually think that's pretty strong i think i would definitely do that you gotta make you also make gotta make the decision if you want to win this conflict because getting a void ring off on the Doji Challenger would be pretty huge. You know, because if he drags in the Challenger, it's yeah. unlikely that he'll win. So it depends on yep, how much he values that Void Effect. Unlikely that it'll win. Yeah, that's true. Because it depends on... Well, he's got the Stronghold. He can buff off the Stronghold. Looks like that's what he's doing. Putting him at 7 to 4 which is breaking 7 to 3 which is breaking mm. 
Okay, so he's he's forcing Angus to either commit another card or potentially just accept the pass and break. Yeah. I think you got to use meditations to get rid of the pathfinders. It's a political attack, so it doesn't really make any difference. You know, a better line of play might have been to use the meditations first, first. so that he gets rid of the play the the sword, so he has to play another attachment before he uses his stronghold. Whereas now it doesn't really make any difference. Yep. I just and like to say it's it's the beginning of turn two, and we've still seen no policy debates. <laughs> Are we sure we're playing L five R in <laughs> early twenty eighteen? Yeah, man. I need to know what's in the dragon's hand. I need to understand the decision making of that turn one <laughs> maybe he's just got a handful of like do nothing cards <laughs> i like that smurf is that's kind that's of loading that's himself that's with fate because dragon is a very fate hungry um conflict deck and so he's yeah. managed both turns to kind of coast at around three or four extra fate which is really good yeah that's another reason that the first turn feels a bit like a nothing turn and and, and another reason why i don't necessarily like um, the strategy, the defensive strategy on turn one, but yeah, to each their own. So we're I think, still breaking. I think defending in that way is sort of more of a longer range strategy, right? Because like if you're yeah. trying to yeah. get the leg, get the advantage in terms of um, province parity, then you want to go for the, the uh, first and second attacks turn one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So whose action? It's on Smurf. He's passed. Okay, so he he's happy with the break if uh, Angus will let him. Yeah. yeah, Angus is just going through all of the various possibilities, the different solution vectors. The horrible thing here, right, is if you pay you pay three and one for a say, for example, for a political rival to win the conflict, then he copies, touch challenges ability, brings in challenges, and just wait waste the conflict. It's kind of a tricky spot, you know, without even knowing what's in his yeah. hand. So now he can what he can copy the what? um. The oh, swordsmith's ability. Let the province go. So now you just oh, copy the swordsmith's yeah. ability, right, and just draw cards. Hundred percent. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Because that because you can he's not going into any other conflicts this turn. No, absolutely not. But you know what? The challenger is online, and I'm not sure I like it. Actually, you know what? But you're probably right. If the challenger came into the conflict, you might not have won it. So take the win, take the break, take the void. Who's he going to pull in? I don't know. Probably doesn't doesn't matter who. I think winning that Void Ring was pretty pretty important because next turn um, Hideyoshi is going to be first player as well and that, that honoured Doji Challenger's effect is just so strong when you're first player. So mm. this Swordsmith, we're turn two and this Swordsmith has already gained three cards. It's really like, hot. Two cards? Yeah. Here comes the, two uh, off the, the next. So what was the first... Did you guys see what the first turn uh, attachment was? Pathfinder. Pathfinder. So okay. it's Pathfinder... Yeah, Pathfinder Finger, and then we've just got the the copied Yukuni has copied Swordsmith to grab. <laughs> oh, I, I see why I was taking a while. I was, Angus was considering reacting to that ability. I'm not really sure. <laughs> how he can react, that's what. Fine, Katana. Okay. Um, there we go. What I love about Yukuni is he's one of these champions with an effect that will um, grow as the card pool grows. You know, the more cool, powerful yes. um, action abilities yes. printed on characters, he'll get better and better. And so maybe he yeah. wasn't rated so high in core, like he was rated sort of middle of the road, I think. But um, yeah, that 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 ability is going to get better and better. I agree with you. He he does suffer a little bit with his glory. Yes, um, but if you can get him on it, he's a wrecking he ball. Into like a one one or something, a two two. Two two, yeah. yeah. All right, so three There's cards there. are gonna get nuked. That's pretty unfortunate oh, for him. Angus. And Smurf gets a fate as well off that one. Yep. Do you think this will be a nice, quick decision? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see how it would be. I know. <laughs> I know what I'm I know playing what against to me, Dragon. I take forever. Yeah. I I basically just I've already thought of which which my three weakest cards before i fucking go in yeah so i think this is a this is a this is a tip for for players i think um and and obviously it's it's top eight game and they're gonna sit there and take their time because you know it's the stakes are big but i tend to think that um before you attack a dragon player if you haven't flipped resto yet and you don't have a way on the table of just ignoring restoration of balance figure out what you're going to discard before you go in there mm. I think it's just uh, good practice. Go. Like, even if you... You, yeah. you might say to yourself, oh, but 
if it's an untimed format, why wouldn't I just take maximum time? And yes, that is true. But it's good practice to just get thinking ahead in general. And so exercise that muscle and start thinking ahead about about decisions two or three steps ahead or even a turn ahead. And it will help you out in the long run. Discarding a political rival is, is a little bit heartbreaking. The other two cards, fair enough. I mean, Bunzai is obviously a very strong card, but... Um, it means wondering... his hand's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think discarding the rival means and the bonsai in particular. Like ornate fans usually a pretty simple target to discard. Yeah, but I think those other four cards must be absolute gold. The rival, he's probably got a duplicate of the rival. Because yeah, I'm probably yeah. not going to discard the rival unless I got another one. Agreed. It always hurts so when you run into the mm -hmm. seeker clans, um, um, matching element province t two turns in a row. Like the first two turns, it's yeah, so brutal, it's especially Dragon. You know what else is really annoying? The Imperial Palace. Maybe this is just my own personal bias because I'm just always thinking about the favor. But um, <laughs> that card, you know, he just has to stand there and get plus three. Even if Smurf wins both rings, well, you know, this ring, um, he's got two in the bag, which should get him the favor, but no, it won't. <laughs> yeah, I think it's really really strong and the um the one per deck thing really irks me but um i'm i'm, I'm looking forward to a neutral province destruction um uh, holding destruction event that's what i want to see yeah i think so um another thing to remember is that the the box is on the crane box so you really can't forget about that and Playing so he's court games to honor the initiate that's interesting and so he's elected to defend with both right because he knows if I only defend with one, he can then he can admit defeat first and then drag the other guy in if he wants. So it's you might as well yeah. just get it over with, right? That's right. And not only that, he's used his sequencing to put both characters out of range. I think that's a that's a fan on the swordsmith, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree with. I think this is a good line of play. I'm just hoping he's got a conflict character, um, Smurf, that is, the dragon player, because um, two turns in a row of, of, well, first turn he didn't declare a single conflict, and second turn only declaring one. It's it's really, you're sort of playing from behind when you do that. we got a policy debate. That was over pretty quickly, wasn't it? Just been one? <laughs> I think, At this point, people know the drill. I think it's predictable. Skirmish. Normally, like, with only a two-skill discrepancy, um, a player might bid five or something but given the honor is already 16 to 7 it's a little too risky for smurf to dump like four honor into a duel yeah i think if both players are on that eight or nine sort of uh, uh, target it takes a little bit longer to choose your uh you know what you're going to bid so in this but, case uh, i'm taking the fury because he's got two conflict characters so taking one of them does right. nothing cloud the mind's not a big deal because you're your powerful characters leaving play at the end of the turn for now anyway so i'm probably taking the fury because otherwise what about reprieve reprieve's, reprieve's also strong, pretty hard long-term long choice yeah i'm not sure i think so smith discards this okay, he goes for the I covert yeah interesting. well if you think about it so fury's one thing but skirmish up down there with two fans sorry yeah two katanas on it is another break this turn if he wants it yeah that's a good that's a fair point So I think that's I think that's a fair discard as well. Smurf set his turn up nicely. Going for the political first means that his weenie can get through without the strain, uh, crane stronghold um, being online for that. Which is nice. Would it be fair to say that we're looking at um, the turn three seems to you know with the fire fate and reserve with the crane player is is you think that turn three is going to be where he unloads a lot of that fate and he tries and tries to have a very explosive third turn. I think he's going to need to, because uh, presumably, I mean, we haven't seen his spl uh, splash yet, but presumably it's not Lion, because you've just got to be crazy like me to run Lion Splash. But um, presumably that challenge is leaving, and he's uh, talking uh, Angus. So presumably his biggest threat's going to leave the table, and he's going to have one guy left. So yeah, he's going to need a big turn. See, I think that um, one of the things that Smurf needs to do is try and... I'm just assuming at the moment that um, Angus is running the Fate Worse Than Death. So I think with five fate on the board right now, he really needs to draw that out uh, of his opponent. I don't yes. know whether it's worth three cards because that's what that's what it's going to take. But 
Well, he's got. It does need to happen. He's only got three cards in hand, so you can mash Earth Ring here. It'd be pretty strong. Water's also really good because it guarantees the defense, and you can kind of contest for favor as well. Although yeah. with that uh, Imperial Palace, it's not really going to happen. I do want to know what's under that Imperial Palace. I think that's where I would go in for an attack, even though it's not as strong. I think I'm. I think my objective for the attack would just be to see what's under there, to know, yep. yeah, get more information. In my um, top 64 game today, I was playing Crane Splash Lion against Crab Splash Crane, actually. And he Satoshied and placed ah. his palace on a particular province. And so I just oh, yeah? I just annihilated the other three, knowing that that was going to be shameful. So I'm like, I'm never going there. So I'll just go everywhere else. Which is, oh, uh, I thought you were going to say you played mind games with you and put it on a useless <laughs> province. And then you attacked it. That would have been cool. <laughs> in public forum. That would have been really cool. <laughs> I think the worst one for it to be uh, on is Pilgrimage. That really stings. That is very tough. Very, very tough. Okay, so this Katana... What what, what else has Smurf got in his hand? He's got uh, two Katanas. Another policy. So basically just two Katanas. Yep. Yeah. There's a Reprieve as well. Now, here's an interesting question. The Tattoo Wanderer was played with no fate. What do you think the decision-making process there was? That is an interesting point, isn't it? Yeah. He's wanting to retain fate for next turn. Yeah, I agree. And I actually think... So, if that wasn't a... If he didn't defend there, like if Hideyoshi... Uh, yeah, Hideyoshi didn't defend there, um, you could go and invest two more swords into a break. But since he did defend, really it's just there to get a win. And with the yeah, water ring, he's Hideyoshi actually going to be claiming favor here, which could be a big deal. Um, if he flips Hideyoshi Sumiko. flips, yeah. Yep. Mm. Oh, Sumiko flips for sure. Is this the point where if you're Ronin, are you looking to discard your investigator and, and initiate to try and force a, a, a Sumiko? Or do you think the odds are such that you, you know, the investigator is a pretty damn good personality, so you want to keep him there anyway? I that's a good question hard, that hard is a good gone. question do you know what i think that i'm only slightly less likely to draw another investigator as i am a sumiko so oh, i think I, I think i discard all three that's a good way of looking at it mm, i think normally i would agree but given that angus has been l bidding low he's got a huge hand disadvantage already and i would want to maximize that so i'd probably keep the investigator yeah and and it looks like Ronan agrees. agrees. <laughs> <laughs> he's reading. He's watching the stream. What's going on? <laughs> and uh, Angus has yeah, um, smartly. He smartly got rid of this Imperial Palace. This is just going to clog him. He's got fourteen fate. He wants to bring out the big guns. Yeah. This is actually uh, pretty oh. pretty horrible position because um, yes, Hotaru is great. But if Yakuni copies Hotaru and then you cloud the mind Hotaru, like that oh, is horrible. horrible. <laughs> Fellas, that Hotaru is. <laughs> Well, Cloud the Mind, I don't know. She's still a big, chunky character that's going to stay around. Oh, you still got to buy her. You got to buy her and just power yeah, through it, but fuck. I think you got to buy her and the... Savvy. Savvy politician. Probably probably can... can You can, he can probably afford all three or close to it. Yeah. yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you got four. Yeah, I don't know. I reckon two. You get the Hotaru get the and the politician... Yeah, yeah Hitaru with two and the politician yeah. with one, and then He's... another Hitaru. Yeah, okay. There's... I guess you flip up first. <laughs> True. I or really if you're like the dragon player. Go on. I was just gonna say, if you're the dragon player. Are we looking at a uh, investigator plus a Doom Shigenja? Yeah. Almost certainly, and I think maybe even a Mendicant if he gets. He's gonna not get passing fate, so. I think the dragon player has every opportunity to get passing fate here. I think you want to play that Shigenja to turn on Cloud, and then you can potentially get pass. Was he holding a Cloud? Yeah, he had a Cloud in his hand from the um, policy debate. Yeah. I think Savvy's the way to go here. And then that way, I think, Bert, you were saying that there's a good chance that he might have a... Um, uh, fate. Uh, what's what's the um, the three cost uh, conflict character still in his oh, hands? Oh, political uh, rival. Yeah, political rival. So maybe this is a good time to pass. 
Interesting that Smurf has gone for a fourth character. Wow, and Angus has matched him. Ooh. That's a surprise Ooh. to me. Oh. I'm taking yeah, the pass here if I'm Smurf. Yep. Oh, 100%. 100%. It's not even a question. <laughs> That's a bit of a shock for me. It's a good board position, actually, with um, the crane, though. Like, it's not... Uh, it's respectable. Yeah, and um, now that the resto has been dealt with, it, it is kind of nice to have a free province to attack into. Like, it's just a three-strength blank card at this point. Yeah, you don't really need to worry about... Um, the provinces anymore from the dragon player i don't think shameful is still pretty ugly but the other yeah they've got such a good lineup no, just, man just not sure about that last character for crane like i feel like they could that having that extra fate you know for the test of skills etc could have just been big i'm with you and especially given that you're bidding five so you're going to likely get another conflict dude in a lot of cards yeah. yeah we still don't know his splash that's so true i could be completely wrong about the scorpion splash maybe he's running just free like ready for battles and legions of one and stuff i know that <laughs> i played him um for our uh, our match in this league and he played dragon splash against me but then when i played him live he was playing phoenix so he's played a lot of different decks this is it, mixing it up if it were dragon splash i would say we would have seen a let go of fury so far there's just so many good options to have played those cards already so it's probably unlikely have you seen much dragon. what about like mono crane just like no splash well, there are some no. diehards who swear by that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand that. They don't want to corrupt their decks with other clans. It doesn't make any sense. At all. When I first Battle heard they were doing that, no, I, I, my, that was my gut reaction. Was like, "Fuck that! I want to play Lion only." And then once I started <laughs> playing, I'm like, "Yeah, that's impossible." And it actually makes the game more interesting to have splashes. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. completely agree. And I think competitively that you can't not splash. Because in the old the game, everyone splashed, right? Deep. Oh, oh, well, yeah. yeah. But like it was, you, it was I remember playing an Oni in my it. Lion deck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so pass and pass in the conflict phase. What are we going to see? It's going to be a classic poke to get two fade off the airing. Yeah. This is also um, just prepping to see where that shameful display is. So I like this. It's a um, smart move. So, speaking of getting two fate off a ring, you know what's kind of interesting? Um, on the last turn of a game, when you're the second player, so you're going to be going first next turn, you don't, you actually don't choose the ring with fate on it because you let it accumulate fate and then you collect it as the first conflict initiator in the next turn. Yeah, I like doing that. And I also like doing, when, when, I'm, the, when I'm having the final conflict, so I'm second player and it's the final conflict and there are two rings left and one of them I have a preference on, I like taking the other one this turn, spending more on the dynasty phase, and then next turn I get first ring selection, so I pick the one that gets the fate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Similar kind of concept, yeah. yeah. So, uh, he's throwing the mendicant in just as a face to block, and he's used the Yeah, manicure. I think the mendicant's not going to do much else this turn, so why not? Yeah, uh, the mendicant's just there to fetch Sumiko out, right? <laughs> Yes, he totally is. <laughs> I think he got the wrong medicant though. I think he should have got the one off the uh, broken the province. Broken province, just as a tiny, tiny thing, you know. Probably Although this make, lets him charge that one. Thing, but we could charge it. That would be really interesting. Because then, if you if you leave your person, if you leave a character on a broken province, they can't destroy it to prevent you charging. So it's just a yeah, little... that's that's true. That's a subtle advantage. Yes. Too shame is the bond. I like that conflict though. Get the fate. Um, have a look at yes. the provinces. Throw in a, a worthless guy, and then it forces um, Smurf to have a much more difficult time assigning his attackers. Whereas if you just throw in Hataru straight away, you kind of your 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 turn to sort of face up to your opponent. Yeah, I agree. And having that first action, man, it's so so important to be able to have that first policy debate or fate worse than death. Or it's becoming more and more important as this game evolves. I think. As far as hand size goes, they're both pretty close to each other. So I think... There's a little um, exchange of honor. All of that, yeah, all of that honor work at the start for Hideyoshi. Yeah, it's... I don't think it's gone anywhere. That uh, swordsmith did some work, um, providing three card advantage. Yeah. Absolutely. It was that Fertile Fields. 
So uh, Smurf's done the, the the smart thing, and that is to copy uh, his opponent here and just send in the poke, which is I like this a lot because it's very difficult for um, Hideyoshi to actually defend this su successfully without expending like a card or two. Um, yeah, he doesn't really have a lot of military on board. Mm -hmm. Although I do kind of like this, right? Like, if he ever find if Hideyoshi ever finds himself in a losing position here, he can just kind of leave, just eject. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you can kind of you yeah. can do stuff like play for shame or or play a um. Yes. yes. There are various tricks. So here you go, You're forcing out cards out of your opponent's hand. I like this. Because, yeah, yeah. Jumping back to last turn, if I can, there was a conflict that Smurf won that was 4-4, four to four, and he clearly had a handful of other buffs. I think it was with the Tattooed Wanderer at the end of the turn. I just remembered I wanted to say something about it. It's it's If, if your opponent gives you an in to take the ring effect and win the conflict, and you feel like he's goading you to play more cards because he you know he's got an assassination or a fury or whatever, don't take the bait and just take the win. Sometimes it's, it's okay to, to not break the province and just get the ring. Yeah. I think sometimes yeah. I, I fall into that trap. Win, and I, wins are great. <laughs> wins are great, man. Ring effects are wins how you win great. the game. Yeah. More than anything else. Really. This is interesting how he... I think this indicates that he's going to run that... Um, oh. Thing away. Representative. Oh. We have a B right back. All right. That, that Doom Shigenja is buff as. He's going to go look up, look up uh, the stats on... Uh, What's the, what's the likelihood he's going to draw a bonsai if he plays a tester skill? Yada yada. Gets on the Gucci builder. Um, I'm not sure. Like, I feel like Hideyoshi's playing really smart here, right? He's yeah, I think he's playing really smart here. He's played two unretrievable cards out of his opponent's hand, right? Those fan, the, those swords are not coming back. Those yeah, guitars. I mean, unless you feel like dro dropping a reprieve on that guy, which is kind of yeah. not great. Especially if... It's kind of like I was saying before, right? Like, you've got this representative here, and the goal is to try and get your opponent into a position where they're not, ne they're not necessarily breaking, but maybe they're winning. But I think um, Smurf is actually just... He's trying to go for a break, and I'm not sure... I'm not sure I like that. I, when I'm playing these sorts of positions, like when I've got one weenie and I'm, I'm rolling into a province and my opponent hasn't really revealed what, what, why they're defending or what cards they've got in hand, I'm always nervous to spend too many cards on that one guy to try and break because I think oftentimes, yes. like, it just seems too good to be true to play a weenie, play three cards and break a province. And, and so yeah, like totally you know agree. you know what I mean like you get into this yeah. position where you're like man if I spend two more cards and play a conflict character perfectly I'll have just enough to break then you think to yourself well dude my opponent's not gonna roll over right yeah you gotta you gotta think about your cards as resources so you've fate's not your only resource it's not your only currency spending cards is also a currency yeah, and what you've actually get. done here if we look at the cards that both player both players have committed both players have committed a character that's great one player has committed a um a card which honors two characters so the value from that card at honoring two characters is going to stick around for a bit right it's got some longevity to it whereas the uh the longevity of the two cards expended by the dragon player is only going to be this conflict and then it's gone it's not coming back <laughs> just looking at that bid that is just doomsday when you bid four your opponent bids three, and you would have needed to bid one more to guarantee a draw. And, oh, yeah. it's really nasty. Uh, so what do we got here? Bonsai, Cloud the Mind, Court Games, Katsuki's Method, Fury, Fan, Policy Debate, and Reprieve. Um, so Bonsai is off the table for me, given that uh, Military Conflict's about to end. Uh, I'm looking mm -hmm. at that Cloud the Mind. Fury is still... Actually, Fury is waning, right? Because he's he's turned up three of his provinces. Um, yeah. Reprieve's no good this turn, but if you don't get rid of it now, you're probably not going to be able to get rid of it next turn. Yep. My gut says Reprieve. I feel yep. like Reprieve is something that they can keep a key character around for that extra turn. And like, if you've got a chance of getting your Cooney off the board, 
you want to force a void ring or something, just get him off the board. Like, Reprieve is just heartbreaking. And I don't think the Cranes really run much attachment control, right? Uh, well, it just depends on what his, his splash is, which we still haven't seen, um, curiously. Yeah. But yeah, I, 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 th I think I agree I'm, with your gut there. I think Reprieve is the go. Cloud yeah, is, Cloud is pretty hot too, man. Yeah. You invest eight fate in your champ. You don't want it to get it clouded. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking Cloud or Reprieve. And I don't think, I don't think either one's a big mistake, you know? Because something like Fury, you, could, you probably got to cancel for if you if you feel like you have to run into. And there's always the Ring of Water. Yeah, that's right. Try you could try and manufacture some sort of play state where the Ring of Water will unbow your guy, lessening the value of a Fury. How bad does it feel, that though? Said, Go ahead. That said, uh, two provinces are unrevealed, so all you really need to attack, all you need to do to shut down the Fury is really just attack that last province. And then most of you guys are probably wow. okay because they're on two glory. What? I'm a little bit surprised by that. I think there's some 4D chess being played here. <laughs> well, look, it is a plus three buff for your Kuni. That's, yeah. That's it's, and it's, it's just good against Crane in general to equalize the honored character's um, count to turn yeah. off. And, and we, it is still totally a mystery to splash. So I guess if there's... Maybe there is some attachment control in his hand. Maybe he's playing mm -hmm. Dragon Splash. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay, so he does break and the Ring of Earth goes off. Uh, so Hideyoshi does send Stewie. down that break. Yeah. I love I love Stewie Law. Stewie Law is uh, a sad sad card to see go. Stewie. Great character. Stewie, Stewie, yum yum. Probably Stewie a character so so we will many. see for a long, long time in this game. So oh, good. just. One cost, got the courtier trait. <laughs> amazing, amazing ability. Zero yeah. glory, right? Yeah, zero That's glory, fun. which is kind of good. Oh, just, just marvelous. By the way, you, you guys know the card Sorry. Young Harrier. Yes. Yeah. I completely misread that card for the first like six months of playing L five R. Oh really? I had no idea that you could use it out of a conflict and that it lasted the whole phase. Yeah. 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 That's fucking crazy. Well, that good. Was crazy. Yeah, crazy good. Are you playing it? How many copies are you playing in I your was, deck? I was trying out one when I was playing Big Crane with like uh, Yoshi and stuff. Yeah, but um, it's got um, it's got one glory as well, so it's a nice you know snatch the favor. Yeah, uh, it doesn't have the good trait like like um the Steward of Law does. No, yeah. The um, Harriers have messed me up a bunch of times, not with their ability, just for just for the the drop value. It's nice. Mm-hmm. It's one cost, right? One cost, one one with one glory. Yep, and it's yeah, think, Shinobi it's really and Harrier. Uh, shout out to Dan, uh, Spiv. What's going on, bro? He just uh, says he played some L five R. I think he was playing general games with the guys, and now he's back to watching it. So, hello, Dan. Hey, Dan. Sup? All right. So um, this is an all in conflict from the crane, and it's going to be a void ring. So this is this is nasty. I mean. It's potentially an argument for like taking the void ring out of the equation with that poke that you do with the Doom Shigenja, because like a double void is whoa, God that hurts. All in must win. So here's the here's my little conundrum. I'm looking at this here. This is a uh, political conflict. Are you defending with the Kitsuki Investigator, and the first action is to activate it, like? If there is a let go in uh, Hideyoshi's hand, I guess that's not the end of the world. I think you might be oh. right because um, because Yakuni's going to be able to go smack a province anyway, right? Yes. Yeah. Barring like uh, so some think... crazy character, like a like a. I think um, with the investigator, role. you pay it to a ring, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you just go collect it again next turn. It's not really a huge loss. To defend with the investigator here. okay so and it is it is scorpion Scorp. calling in the favor so that explains uh, noble sack yeah geez two-way the cranes as well that's vile oh oh so what's he attacking into admit it's defeat okay so this is this is a pretty potent hand it looks like uh 
I'm taking favors, mm. calling in favors. It's the one I'm taking away. Okay. Yeah, you want to. Yeah, the, the reprieve is too terrifying. I mean, the rest of the hand is very, very strong. To to admit defeats. That's yeah. that's really good. Also, having the knowledge that there's a noble sack is oftentimes enough to sort of play around it a little bit. Whereas, like, 100%. having a calling in favors, you, you either play your reprieve and have it stolen or never play it. So, it's no voice of honor. How unfortunate is that? Okay, so, so if I'm Smurf, I'm thinking, all right, I've got a little bit more fate than him. I'm going to have that second province is going down, right? Yakuni's going to waltz in there and smack that province up. Um, yeah. Yes. So I'm thinking, to, and I'm first player next turn. I'm thinking, this is a pretty good position. I'm going to take away the calling in favors, which he does. Uh, lose this conflict. No worries. That's all good. I lose the second province. I go and take a third, and I'm first player next yeah, turn. I might even do. reprieve that Doom Shigenja. Maybe. Yeah, you got to play that. Um, you got to play that cloud right now. I think. Oh, that's a great point. Yeah, you want to. I think you want to remove the double void from from the. Um... And you did choose did choose the calling in favors, which makes sense. Yeah. Mm. Very smart. Well, they're call, calling in <laughs> calling in favors to uh, get rid of a cloud of the mind, while possible. Not not very appealing. No. <laughs> <laughs> You want to get that finger of jade? Is actually oh, what you want to do. We've got some. We've got the first regret, call of regret here. Um, is he, so he's talking route. about over court games. Yeah, that's. I I think yes. that's fair enough. I completely agree. Yep. With two with two way the cranes in hand and uh, what's it called on the table? I would not at all be worried about people being dishonored or other people being honored. Did he just forget about the investigator's ability to strip that from his hand? The um, Maybe. attachment control. Uh, so if I'm Wait, if I'm what? Smurf, I'm oh, dropping. No. He forgot. He forgot. Call, uh, cloud the mind. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> bad. <laughs> oh no. Well, what's that really oh, do? It, it essentially pulls the extra fate from the investigator, who's still going to be around for next yep. turn. Well, they both it made forces... a mistake. They both made a mistake. Yeah. So it now I'm going. A... I'm going fire ring with copying. Tara's ability, and I'm going to go honor all of my dudes. That that, that uh, Yakuni still staying around though. Yakuni will stay around. Investigator will stay around, which is what would have happened anyway, right? Except Investigator is going to have no fate instead of one fate. Yeah, you're losing the favor though at the moment. I don't know. If, I don't know Smurf's deck, but that's a thing. Well, he's gonna he's gonna tie it up here, right? If he goes and wins. I'm not sure if you do Ring of Fire. Um, Double Ring of Fire? Like we were talking about, well, like we were talking about before, uh, you can actually let that thing get a fate and then go fire next turn. Uh, your opponent is going to lose one of their honored people right now anyway. I, I'd be honoring I'd be honoring Yakuni and honoring um, Investigator. Yeah. Smurf agrees. And uh, yeah, you've got the reprieve, I suppose. So yeah. Because then the the very first conflict next turn you got two on and got plus it's a plus five bonus skill bonus. Yeah, you'll force your opponent to use. And favors a tie, so you'll keep favor, barring uh, shenanigans. Uh, what is the attack there? He's manicured guard. Manicured, okay. yep. So this is interesting. Uh, both players have managed to duck past shameful display, which is pretty pretty huge <laughs> swing card in this matchup. Yeah, you're right. And actually, um, yeah, Shameful Display just turns on that Noble Sacrifice straight away. Oh, it's ugly, man. It is an ugly thing yeah. to run into. The good, thing for, is... the good thing for Smurf oh, actually, is that he's got, what, two Admit Defeats, which don't do anything on defense, yeah. a Noble Sack, which isn't going to do anything. The only cards that really do anything for his um, turn three, turn four defense is uh, the two Way of the Cranes. That probably explains why he got rid of... Um, the court games, right? Because court games would have re-honored somebody uh, when they get dishonored, so it would disable um, Noble Sacrifice. That's kind of interesting that That's he dishonors Hotaru, knowing he's got two way of the cranes in his hand, mm. rather than honoring Investigator. I think it's it would probably cost, fine. It would cost two way of the cranes in order to get Hotaru up to honored status. Yeah, I think it's probably probably good actually. Now that I think about it. So we've seen no test of skills this game played. 
Yes. I feel like I feel like Angus hasn't quite got off to the races yet since he's really hasn't. He had been a good first turn, I feel like. Turn one was decent. Um but just that I think that turn one one bid was a little too conservative for me. I yeah. would have liked to see two or three. He's going first, I he was going first, wasn't he? Angus? He was going first, yeah. Which, yeah. So two or three is fine. Well, I think if you're going first, isn't the strategy to defend against Dragon? You pass first conflict, then defend the second. But you don't have to. But yeah, a good strat is sometimes bid three, pass on the first conflict. Hopefully, dragon attacks into you. You, you, you play a policy you, debate. You play whatever, and then you yeah. go and hit them. Yeah. All right. So this is match point right here for uh, the crane player. That is the not a very is... good flop for the dragon. Um, the crane didn't Whoa, also didn't, didn't get a great one. He did use his mannequin. He did. No, and the, did the he? storyteller there as well did, is. Yeah. That's this is actually pretty good for the crane player, I think. As far as as far as dynasty flops, it's, it's decent. Yeah, the, the, having the two doomed really hurts. Um, I definitely think I want to see a five bid from both players. I want to see, um, Smurf go hunting for that, uh, um, conflict of uh, the tattooed wanderer for covert. Uh, although he's got a favoured ground. Um, what else would the dragon player be looking for? Pathfinder's Blade to dodge the rally, maybe? Yeah, Pathfinder's Blade would be pretty strong. You also want to get Raitsugo into a duel with that representative, right? And just get him out of the uh, turn. For sure. Uh, he also hasn't played a single charge, so charge could also bring that second doomed into play. True. Uh, yep, it looks like they've both bid five. <clears throat> you know what I want to see? I want to see... Oh, it's too late now. I want to see the crane play a bid one, come in for a double ring of air, and then, <laughs> and then fight away to get his, his honored guy dead. <laughs> so he just flips another Hatara, hey? That's just crazy. Yeah, I mean, uh, Hatari is staying around. But how many turns are left in the game? We're not so sure. Smurf really wants a reprieve and a way to get get um, the second calling in favors out of um, Hideyoshi's hand. If the, if the game goes longer. Yeah, the, and that's the question, right? Do you close the game out here? Because I think board position-wise, I don't actually think that the Dragon has the opportunity to really close the game out here. You need some in order to do that. You need some covert. You need some, you know, assassinates. There's no assassinatable targets on the table. I'm not sure if it's really. You can do work. you can do two duels because you got your Kuni and Raisugu, so you can maybe. There's a lot of work. That can it be is. Done there. I think you need to win political, right? Because if you go military, he's going to have entrenched position. It's just going to be too hard to I break. Think, I think copying Raisugu is actually quite important for this turn because if you think through the next turn. At the moment, it looks like the dragon's board's going to be, yeah. you know, three quarters of it disappears. You and need to have another reprieve keep... too. Yeah. And that, not playing that cloud, the mine last turn may end up being very costly. Be quite costly. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how it all shakes down. I believe in the power of Angus. I think he can come back. He's just going to dig in. Verse Punkin in chat wants to see the doji rep get noble sacked. We'll see if that shakes down that way. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see. It might do. Yeah, I could foresee. Uh, I, you know, I, I could foresee uh, Ratsugu getting destroyed this turn. This is the turn. <laughs> this is the turn that makes or breaks you if you're the dragon player for me. And I, I'm because because dragon's the aggressive deck. I'm coming from a lion mentality. I hate these turns because you have to do. Um, essentially double the maths and and, and um, be twice as thoughtful as any other turn and you've really got to decide if this is the moment to throw it all in and if, if, you, if you're wrong you usually lose the game so it's a big gamble yeah agreed um, but sometimes like a lot of these decks it's a necessary gamble to enact your win condition so it's um, these, these turns are always I'm biting my nails you know when I'm playing and something's on the line it's uh, always a nervous yeah. moment in terms of like practicing for competition and things, I think 
closing the game is something to focus on during practice. And to be honest with you right now, just look, I don't know what's in people's hands, but just looking at this particular board position, I don't think it at all looks like the crane player can't defend whatever the dragon player throws at them right now. There's going to be a lot of attachments in the dragon player's hand, and he does have four, like eight fate. <laughs> yeah, so, there's, there's like yeah. two way the cranes, you know, with two, two glory yeah, guys sure. on the table. It's, and... it's definitely not a simple battle, right? Like, it's. <laughs> All right, there's, it, one, there's it, one less way the crane. <laughs> yeah. The It'll favorable ground makes covert affair. less attractive as well. It's just, it's a really tricky turn for the dragon. And, like, it's funny because he's up on provinces and he's got a very, very menacing board as well. Um, maybe not we, the we next always. Turn, but... Like we're performing a cheeky poke here, right? Yes, hundred percent. We need to. We need a bit of information. Right. I'd probably maybe send the investigator in. Investigator um, in for political and, and just sack. Yeah, the, the and conflict you would choose. And... You would choose a ring that isn't necessarily going to be. Maybe you choose the ring with fate on it, like ring of water. You, you choose a. You choose a ring that Hataru is yeah. not going to kill you over. Right, like void. Right, Hataru would kill this game if she got a void ring off. Yep. And if you forgot to point. play. The mind so you're trying to what's a ring you don't want i think i'm going water because because i want to keep yeah. um angus's fate below three i disagree i you disagree i think if Fataru gets void off <laughs> although smurf you and smurf <laughs> but if <it's... laughs> you guys have got the mind meld going on <laughs> <laughs> if if Fataru goes in for an attack though does that mean make him very vulnerable to the counterattack from like, how's he going to defend this military conflict? I suppose, yeah. If Hitari goes in for... If the opponent goes in for water at all, it bows one of your guys, one of your good guys for sure. So Fire is I also guess, a nightmare, right? Because fire turns on Noble Sack, can kill Raitsugu, can kill... Hmm. Like, if Raitsugu gets dishonored, it's going to be a really hard turn. Well, actually, the investigator can discard. Oh, that's a good point. Noble if need sack. be, yep. yeah. The problem is, of course, that you're actually giving your opponent a fate because now you have to put a fate onto a ring to use the investigator. Yep. I guess it's the ring of air because that's the one you don't care about so much. So have we. We haven't seen a policy debate played by the dragon player yet, even though he's had it. We've seen it in his hand for a few turns now. This hasn't yeah, been a good um, matchup. For the, waiting for the perfect moment. There we go. Where's that? Well, he doesn't have the fate for that, so you skip that. that Assassination, bad? he has two of. So you definitely take... Well, I mean, depending on what events you have in your hand, Voice of Honor, maybe. maybe Noble Voice sack. of Honor is always a good one to, to flip. Not without that, without for shames, um, steward of law is not very yeah. menacing. So, I would not take if that was, either. If I was uh, Hideyoshi, I might have actually used voice of honor on that policy debate. Sure, policy debate. Oh, it's Kitsuki investigators. Never ability. mind. Never mind. I think knob sack. That explains oh. it. Wow, oh, it is fate worse than that death. is a to me that is insane because he doesn't have the fate. Yeah, I think he's thinking forward to next turn. He's like. If this attack doesn't work, I need that fate worse than death to be gone. Well, I guess you know, looking forward, he does have a huge fate lead. So if he feels like he just he's not going to be able to get the yeah. win this turn, I don't know. That that um, to me feels like he. I, I agree. Like that to me, discarding fate worse than death says, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to win this turn. Yeah, I don't know if he can. I don't. I honestly don't think he can. Noble sack. Um, the only way it's turned on though is a uh, ring of fire, right? Ring of Fire, yeah, which is a good ring, right? Like it is uh, a good ring. You send you send your political guys in. You don't really even need to send Hataru in. But no, because you just need to, you just need to resolve it once, and you've got enough to kill Raid Sugu. So, yeah. So what do you guys think of assassinating for, uh, of uh, Angus assassinating the Doom Shigenjin now, so that the Cloud the Mind can't be played on um, Hataru? Oh, I think it's an amazing idea. Yeah, you should dude. tell these guys. Yeah, like, yeah. That seems like a play, right? That's, that's, that's <laughs> definitely a thing to do. I'm shocked that he so, still hasn't dropped that fucking cloud. The mind. He's got seven fate. So what are you saving like, it for, just, Smurf? Just kill, kill, kill the Doom Shigenja now. Yeah, I think that's pretty smart. That's, that's really what has to happen. 
Wow. Okay, so why why is Smurf here playing this? I I understand he wants to win the conflict, but why does he want to win the conflict? Like the Ring of Water does nothing, right? Um, it potentially bows the Doji rep if the Doji rep goes home. Yeah, it basically does. But if it goes it home, he's going to win it anyway, right? Your opponent playing it. Is it protect the imperial favor at it's all costs? All fa it's all Yoshi favor. Yeah, it's favor. Yeah. Because Yoshi can just like. If Yoshi flips up next, Yoshi can just single-handedly change the, the the state of the game. Yeah, both players and me missing that play around uh, uh, Cloud of the Mind. Yeah, you assassinate that Doom Shigenja and like yeah, that would have been great. If I'm Smurf, that would have that would have sealed sealed the fate of the dragon. I think. Yeah. If I'm Smurf, looking at um. Looking at Angus's hand, seeing no attachment control, um, I'm just going to be dumping my attachments now, like just putting them all into play. If I have Reprieve, I've Cloud the Mines, I'm playing them right now. As soon as I see that he doesn't have calling in favors, I'm going nuts. Yep. So this is the Moment this is a big gamble, right? Because Hataru is actually six military skill for defense. So if you commit her to a the play might be to poke military air with the rep and just see if Smurf will defend, and if he does, then just eject. Yeah, you've got two conflicts left. I think you do your smaller attack first. So you're saying right. doji rep at the restoration of balance, or are you going to try yeah. and unlock that? Yeah. I you, don't so. want, you don't want to go through to um, Chainful. No, hell no. Doji rep, of course, uh, can still be Miramoto's Fury, so that's something to think about. Uh, but he does yep. have the voice of honor. So, is the Doji rep two glory? Yeah, two glory, but there's still two unrevealed provinces, right? Uh, Verse Bunken, yeah. yeah. Verse Bunken in chat. Yokuni yep. is a Shigenja. That's correct. So he can still cloud with. Uh, ah, okay. So that assassinate play no. I mean, it's still good. He's got sixteen honor. Like, why not? Play? He got two assassinates. Why not play it? I guess wait for a better moment. Yeah, you always forget Yokuni has the Shigenja trait. Mm. It's 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 because the reason you forget is because it's most often a burden, right? It's most often just a bad thing against against the waves. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, he's poking fire. This is kind of ugly because like you really do not want to let him have noble sack. And this is where that decision to take fate worse than death is looking kind of dubious to me, man. I really like this this uh, this choice of conflict. So you defend with Raid Sugu and just duel the guy? And clear him off for next turn? Strip a fade off him, sure. I mean, if you don't defend, yeah. he's going to dishonor Raid Sugu and oh, wipe him. You gotta, you're backed into a corner here. And Raid Sugu could be... Well, a, we know there's an immediate feat, right? So yeah. it's going to be difficult for Smurf to win the conflict, but I think um, removing the fate has merit. He has to commit two guys. Yeah, I guess he can just commit the Shigenja. But then then this would be a good spot then to if, if it's both, both people are committed to... I guess we'll wait to see what the defense is. I think Angus is first player next turn, so I I would like to defend with Raitsugu, duel the, the fate off the guy, then he goes home maybe and i claim the ring and i defend the province and so and then i probably probably don't attack he's gonna play that admit defeat i think yeah good point actually. it's really true this is actually really hard for smurf yeah, yeah, yeah. yep yep you're right and if you overcommit, if you really overcommit on the defense it means satara gets to walk in with a double ring whatever that ring is well, smurf no, play play, play, play the, the cloud the mind dude just play the cloud <laughs> <laughs> this mind meld of yours obviously only works in one direction <laughs> <laughs> oh you know what uh there's still a finger of jade on yukuni could be useful for something yeah so yukuni is kind of protected for a while What was that? I said, Psst, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, you know, and you should, because of the storyteller, you're going to be drawing cards off of all uh, on yeah, the guys that that's you've right. been making. <laughs> so you noble sacrifice and it refills itself. This I game just that. got really the hard. Storyteller. Yeah. Yeah. This that flip was bad, man. Mental. You have eight fate left over, and all you can buy is a one drop and a three drop. It's no good. I can't. Yeah. I can't believe that he had. Uh, what is it? A medicine and didn't get a good character the next turn. Yeah, I think. Like, I think imagine if you get Sumiko, Sumiko yeah. plus Raitsugu plus you know a Doom oh, Shark. It's, it's a whole different ball game, isn't it? The whole game's different. I mean, let's be clear. There's a bunch of really strong people on Angus's side. Uh, sorry, on Smurf's side. But anyway, like the yeah. Kitsugi Investigator, Ratsugu, and Yukuni are not, they're not like tier three characters, right? Like, they're all <laughs> children, right? fuck no. Like, this strong. I think you absolutely cannot allow, um, you cannot allow the Ring of Fire to be won by the Crane player. Because you have a five fate investment who's going and you got no board. So you almost have to defend with your Kuni and Raitsugu and then just try and, if you've got a Bonsai in hand, go for a military conflict with the Shug. I don't know, it's pretty ugly. Do we know what's in Smurf's hand? We haven't seen his hand in a while, actually, I think. I'm um, just going back now. It's gonna be full of like attachments and stuff. It's been yeah, it's been it's been a while, man. It's been since early. The only thing we know is in there is a cloud the mind. A Miramoto's Fury. An ornate fan and a policy debate are all in there. Hey, here's an idea. Can you defend with Yukuni and somebody else and copy the representative's ability? Um, mm. I don't know what it gets you. It kind of lets you win, but at the same time, at the same time, I'm not really sure what else it does. And Raitsugu and the Shigenjo, yeah, you defend with both of those, but then Yukuni's kind of stuck doing nothing. Okay, so if Smurf's got a conflict character. I'm defending with the Doom Shigenja and Raitsugu. My first action is to duel, bait out the assassinate, play the conflict character, and dodge the mid defeat. Yeah. And then you attack with your Kuni. That's what I would do. But if he doesn't have a conflict character, it's way harder. I'm almost inclined to defend with your Kuni and Raitsugu and just way overcommit. Which is really rough, but it feels like he almost has to. I don't know. Mate, I feel for Smith. I got no ideas. The um, the crane player at this point has that f uh, federal ground, which just allows you so many good options when mm -hmm. it comes to attacking, right? He can move more people in, move some people out, like the Doja representative can already move itself out. Yeah. You know, in hindsight, I think that ring of water decision might have been very expensive because imagine if you go for fire and you just take that off the table. Then what ring really threatens you? Double void political, which he's never going to do as the first conflict. Well, actually, water at this point, like if it, if fire was off the table and this was a water attack, it's almost the same. It kind of funnels your decision making into like it makes the decisions for you because you have to defend with the people that are about to get bowed. Wow! Well, so he's just gone with the doom show. This seems an odd choice. Well, he might be wanting the opponent to just play the admit defeats. Just play them. Spend the fate, spend the card. I'm just playing and assassinate and saying, all right, I'll take your province. Yes. Yep. So he so can't have been counting theory. on just that because he, he knew he had the voice of honor, right? So he can't... Yeah. He, yeah. Unless... Unless he just wants to get rid of, like, cycle it. He's got to have a second, the, the third and final Fury, or a conflict character, or I don't know. Okay, we have a cloud. What? Maybe there's, maybe there's two here? clouds in his hand at this time. Could be two clouds. Wow, okay. 
Okay, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand this decision because if I'm Angus, I don't want to send that guy home. I want to win the firing. You want to break the province. Yeah. Well, I at least want to just win the firing, right? Oh, he... yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you win the firing. You go dishonor Raitsugu. You blow him up and then you come back. in. You swing in for, for um, political with Hotaru. I suppose we could have some censures uh, to cancel that. Although, if you had a censure, you would have censured the assassinate, right? Or the, or the, um, what do you call it? Uh, Voice of Honor. Voice of Honor, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think, like, waiting until this point to play Cloud is kind of a mistake. I mean, he admitted it was a mistake last turn to not play it on Hotaru, but. Yeah. But he, he knows that, right? Like, he's still not played it on Taro, which makes me think there's another one in his hand. Yeah. Clearly which is, I mean, he's that. gone through, you know, 60% of his deck, so it's entirely impossible. Like, imagine if he doesn't have another cloud in his hand. Imagine if you used favorable rounds and move Hataru into this battle. And then, bang, you've just got... You're in an even worse position, aren't you? Because you're going to lose Raid Sugu. You're going to lose the honor off of um, Tagashi. I think the favorable ground, just in general, <laughs> Did I just kind call of... him Tagashi? Oh, my God. Tagashi. <laughs> I, <laughs> turning into one of those people. New five, uh, I think... <laughs> I, <laughs> I think that favorable ground has just been proving itself to be one of the power cards out of core, and it's becoming totally better and better because manipulating assignment and o over committing, under committing, mm -hmm. all of these yep. concepts like it, it is so powerful to be able to do that. Wow, conflict has been won. I think we're going to say goodbye, good night to uh, Ratsugu. So, what do you just play? Like you hope you have a reprieve? You reprieve Ratsugu? I don't know. What? <clears throat> you dishonor Ratsugu. No, what? no, no. Uh, it's, yeah. Whoa. It's Yakuni got dishonored. What? What's happening? These guys, these guys are playing on another level. What's, yeah. what's going on here? They're in another dimension. I thought this was. I thought the plan was dishonor Ratsugu. Blow him up. Sack him. Wasn't that the plan? That was my plan. What we were doing, Okay, so okay. why would he be doing this? If he lich, okay, he, if he thinks, all right, if Smurf's got Bonsai in his hand, he's gonna crack my province anyway, so I'll move a plus three force bump. But Ratsugu is a three, right? Yeah, and Ratsugu's if you kill Ratsugu, your Kuni can't copy ability. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's first player. I guess. I guess if it did happen, if you got dishonored now, the first thing you would do is copy his ability. Mate, we may be seeing um, Angus crack under the pressure, but that's. Interesting choice. Okay, so knowing that... So if I'm so Smurf, um... right? If I'm Smurf, if I'm going in... If my intention is to win the game, that's one thing. But if my intention is just to win the conflict and then prevent my stronghold from being... I guess he's got to get through another province, doesn't he? So he can kind of just go all in here, regardless. Did, uh, did Hideyoshi have any pumps in his hand? Uh, let me have a look. Just uh, the Fate Worse and Death that was discarded. Two admit defeats. Assassination, assassination, noble sack, and voice of honor. And steward of law. He's still got a steward. God. So if like if if Smurf's got like two two um yeah if Smurf's got like two pumps and a bonsai, I mean the game could still be over. I don't know. Well, he's got a uh, he's got his stronghold at the very least, and he's got some protection on that Yukuni. So, what are you attacking in with? You're attacking in with military. Void. That's a trench position. I'm going with yeah. both void, and I'm going to try and strip that storyteller of fate. And I'm going to void the rep and just remove everyone except Hataru. Kitsuki's method. This is weird. Why play these now on a guy who's leaving play when you're going for a military conflict? policy debate yeah he does have one in his hand actually that's true so uh, that puts it up to 5 versus 9 which is still not great that's not a great position is that 5 am I right oh no 5, 6, 7 so 7 versus 9 that's better that's a better place to be I think I'm going all in void if, if I'm uh... you're just going to try and end the game right here I'm going to... Well, I don't know what's in his hand, but even if I just need to win the game... If you don't... 
if you don't win here, I think you'll lose as a dragon. Well, Although, Angus has to play conservatively, right? Something. He's got to assume that this guy's got yes. a bonsai and a this charge is... and a... Yeah, agreed. If an attack of substance here is going to force both those characters to defend, but next turn's board position for um, uh, Smurf isn't great. This is curious. Actually, you already know. You already know. You already know what's in Hideyoshi's hand. You've already done the math, right? Yeah, you know, if you've got enough pumps to win, you know you've already won. But if you don't, you've got to pretend like you have, or or he can undercommit defense. Mm. Okay. This so is going to be really. So we've attacked with eight. Do you know what would be we've next level, right? Six. If if Go um on. Smurf has got has just played both of his political pump um attachments now, just fainting like he doesn't have enough, and then he drops in like, you know, an ancestral die show and a and a, <laughs> a yeah. katana. That'd be fucking great. He just puts it all onto Raid Sugu. He's actually already seen three fine katanas and one Pathfinder's oh, Blade. They're all actually, in the discard. Yukuni, Yukuni hasn't used his ability yet, so he Yukuni can actually you can actually overcommit and then run away with the challenge's ability. With the rep, yeah. That's a good point. Mm. So this actually probably puts Yeah, this is good. Until now. Whoa. <laughs> well, we know he, he, this guy can oh, just get no jeweled. Pursuit. He can just jewel him straight away. And there's no yeah. for shame. We know his hand, so. Okay. Um, but yeah, you can you can totally force an an under an undercommittal an overcommittal. Policy debate. Yeah. Man, that that is actually a pretty fail play. The thing is, you know, he's got crap for his hand. I guess if you've got a charge, you take away. Uh, he's already played the assassinate. You just take away the noble sack. I suppose. Yeah. Should have been the one you took last time, mate. <laughs> I don't know wh why the um, steward of law is there. Yeah. You basically, I... basically just enabled that. Oh, well, um, here it uh, comes. So here comes the jewel. All the attachments on Yakuni was just a, a feint. I would love if that's the case. <laughs> it's 10, 10 versus 7. Yeah, you need to get... He needs a priest. lot more, right? He needs to win by 12. Yeah. So you need, you need like a charge plus a bonsai plus another ancestral daisho plus mm -hmm. your stronghold. And then maybe you have enough. You have... You have you got 10 currently. You need another... What's mm -hmm. that? You need another 9. It's going to be hard. Yeah, I think you actually leave. I think Yukuni leaves and uh, defends against the storyteller. Oh, it's Void, though. You do kind of want Void. I think Angus is cracking now. <laughs> They've both cracked. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mystery. That's what you guys get for scheduling a game late at night. <laughs> I could win, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> this game's not over yet. Um, I really, I really it, hope um, there's a reprieve for that Tagashi Yukuni. So, just looking at this, if we think about what might happen here, if, if Smurf can't close out the game, right? Mm -hmm. Is I think Angus gets the favor if he keeps up the storyteller then we might see Yoshi because we haven't seen one yet. Then all of a sudden, there's a surge in cards in Angus's hand. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. So this game might swing all the... Yeah, especially with that honored Hataru who still hasn't been clouded for whatever reason. Um, if there's no reprieve on Yakuni, this will be a game. This will be a, like a, a, a cracker. I think that... Um... Angus is definitely going to attack, though. He's going to break that province. Bonsai. Here we go. That's four. You just need five more, right? 
<laughs> so you can well, get you, two you from your stronghold and three from your charge. If you've got stronghold and charge, you'll have enough. Yeah. Well, you, remember there's the favorable ground to move in the storyteller. Is that two extra force that's sitting there? That's true. Yep. So you need a conflict character, a charge, and <laughs> <laughs> and it needs to be a Thursday. And, <laughs> yeah. and he's, actually, he's actually already said that he can't he can't win the conflict. So I'm be- I'm guessing that isn't all of that. Yet. Right, Sugu's fighting. Okay, so this is kind of cool. So he's gonna try and remove both of Hataru's extra fate and then strip him with the void ring. Mm, yep. That would be good. Oh man, why are you yeah. bidding? Why are you fuck? Well, I don't know why you bid two there. Look, if I'm if I'm uh, Angus, why am I ever bidding more than one? I've got three fate. Angus did bid one, didn't he? Yeah, but uh, yeah, exactly. So why would Smurf bid two? It guarantees it, like, mathematically, but, like, you're on five honor, bro. Hmm. And you got another duel coming up, and you're only a slight favorite in this one. Like, he needs to bid four to guarantee this one. You think he will? I reckon it could blow up in his face, and he could actually lose the Yakuni. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So at this point, we're coming up to 90 minutes, which uh, is the official time limit for this tournament. But I think in finals, we're probably just going to let him run to time. Let him run as long as the players want to keep playing. Down with that, I think. So, Tsugashi Kuni's leaving. So that gives him four to get the favor. Okay, this is cool. So so Yakuni can still defend. He can absorb one admit defeat with the yeah. finger of Jade. And actually And there's only one admit de- Oh I guess the sorry, there's a ring that has got fate on it, so Yeah, he could go for the air ring and play two admit defeats to try and break province. Mm. Which he might do. Mm. Oh man, if there's no second rep- like we've only seen one reprieve, right? So it's it, this is the time to have one, dude. I hope he's got that reprieve. Mm. Well, there's still conflicts to be had. Yep. If your opponent's going in for the Ring of Air to get the fate, uh, you don't need to worry about it getting randomed out of your hand. So you could see the Storyteller come in. If nobody attacks, uh, Smurf keeps the favor, which I like. He's got to attack, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. There's nothing else for the storyteller to do besides attack. So he's for going no other, for, for no other uh, reason than to go collect the fate. So There's this no is because otherwise, this is good could, for um, Smurf, right? The fact that he's gone Earth because he's got he doesn't have enough fate yes. to play two admit defeats. Yes, that's right. And you defend. You've now defended this province, which so you ne- your opponent now has to commit two attacks next turn. To worry for you to worry about losing the game via yep. conquest, um, you can go and get the fate, the two fate off of the ring of air next turn. Uh, and actually, the favorable no, ground will be out of the picture, which is nice. Yes. Shout out to the viewers. Got uh, fifteen viewers. Hope you're enjoying the show. Good. Holy crap! An audience. Yeah, three, three. Um. Heart, semi-conscious Aussies casting an Australian-only <laughs> Bush League game attracts 15 people, so there you go. Welcome to the internet, still guys. Alive. Still alive. Flagging a bit. Still Next alive. Time. <laughs> Brain lag. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's making mistakes now. Why did I go out? I don't know, man. It's, uh, it's a good question. Should have dishonored Raitugu. What I love about late night games is 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 a couple of like the sloppy mistakes. What's cool is that they usually equalize. Like both players make. Yeah, both players <laughs> are made. I think um, this is a game where you're going to make mistakes, and it's just part of the. Uh, yeah, just... accept the mistakes, learn, and and just yeah. like 
concentrate on what you're going to do next mm. you, yeah it's about managing the fallout from those mistakes the best and the player who manages them the best is the player who will win usually because everyone's going to make them even the best players in the world make them yeah Oh, Geraldinho's in chat. What's up, Jerry? How you doing, man? He says he's Brazilian, lol. Not Australian. Fair enough, bro. <laughs> so, um, Mark... He's an Aussie. Yeah, he's, um, yeah, he's more... He's, he's, he's about as Aussie as us. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry. I remember Jerry. Good guy. We met up at CanCon at that great tourney. Yeah. Alrighty, so oh, second finger of Jade. Another finger. It didn't matter then. There you go. It didn't matter. Well, you do. yeah. I don't know if I. Pl I don't know if but I like. He playing must it now. have. I don't know playing it now. The I only reason you play it is you got a reprieve. Must. Reprieve, yeah. Like absolutely has to have a reprieve. Because you know his last two cards are assassination and admit defeat. So there's literally no reason to play that card. Yeah, I agree. So I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you guys mean by you have to play it now. I don't, I don't know why you play that. No, it's a mis now. it's it's just almost entirely a mistake, regardless. Pro tip: delay, delay that kind of stuff for as long as possible. If you don't need to play a card, don't play a card. Okay, so he's gonna has lots of political debates. Get out of there! Yeah, I like this. I like this play. Uh, puts three. Three What's to the glory three on storyteller. Two, so it's, it's a tie still. So so um, Smurf will retain favor. It's okay. Ah. Oh my god! So no, oh wow, that is what just is a going crazy on? Crazy mistake. What is going on here? See, this is the kind of stuff that, like, obviously Smurf knew that he didn't have a reprieve, and we have no idea that he didn't have a reprieve. So we're looking at all these players going, "What's he doing?" I should imagine that most of those plays would have been I just need to get maximum benefit out of all these characters because they're about to leave. What is what what have we just witnessed here, fellas? You don't hang on, that's uh, I, we can't uh, like it's not a misplay. Uh, dude, not that flip happen, right? that is a game losing flip. I think the game's just over now. Oh my god. Wow, what a crazy turnaround. Alright, so Hatari's definitely going for the Ring of Air. Hatara can that... still get cut down by Raitsugu. At six military? Well, he just plays a um, plays a bonsai or whatever and then kills her. Yeah, uses box. Raitsugu's bids aren't going to be that high. I don't know. Oh man, this, this game has been what a swing back. Because I felt like Smurf really managed the early to mid game really well. Hey, what's Smurf's splash? It's a uh, crap. Oh. Pathfinder's reprieves right, and Pathfinder's yeah, yeah. blades, you know. I think it's just about the only competitive dragon build right now. Alright, so if you're if you're Smurf, you really just have to defend one of these attacks. Exactly one of these attacks you can't lose. Right? Yes, if you lose both, you will lose the province and the stronghold. Or you just yeah. let him have yeah. one and then go for the break yourself. Hmm, that's kind of tricky as well. And there's another favorable ground. Favorable ground is amazing. God, that opens up so many options yeah. for Yoshi. Yeah, I agree. I think, yeah. We're gonna see like a conservative bid here from uh, Smurf, do you reckon? Because he's got two storehouses. He goes for three. He did he bid three? Yeah. I like that. Okay, so honor's honor pressure's off because you're not going to lose by honor from this position. I gotta say, man, I, I'm feeling like Smurf doesn't have enough conflict characters in his deck because, like, there have been moments in this game where I'm like, if only he had a conflict character. I think maybe maybe he swapped out a couple conflict characters to make room for the fingers of Jade. Yeah, that's possible. Help with the uh, Scorpion matchup a bit. Yeah. Did any scorpions make top eight? Uh, yes, I'm actually playing one in uh, my first my top eight round. It's um Edwin Soshi Kurai. Oh yeah. Oh great, Edwin. He came he like also... I think he's fourth or fifth in seating, and I'm six, fifth or sixth, something like that. That would make sense. 
fourth plays fifth. So yeah, mm. it's something like yeah, either third v sixth or fourth v fifth, something like that. So Smurfs looking for I don't know I don't night. know what are Smurfs outs. I really think he just needs to win one of these conflicts. But to be honest with you, if I'm a Hideyoshi, I can overcommit on the first attack to force and overcommit on defense and then retreat a little bit. At this point, if I'm on Jigoku and I'm in the dragon player's position and I'm just playing a casual game or whatever, I'm just scooping here. Because there, while there may be a way to win this game, the chance is so low and it just takes so much brain power and investment and like still, if your opponent's thinking player the vast majority of the time, you're going to lose. Just because he's got too many options, too many openings for attack. Yeah, but, yeah, but given given your limitations, what's your out? Like, what's the line of play that's going to get you out of this and back into a... I think uh, if you can kill Hataru with... If you can get Retsugu in front of Hataru and get it where you've got a favorable um, skill lead and military and you can kill her, that would be pretty big. Mm -hmm. You also kind of... You need you need Angus to believe, whether whether you have the goods or not, that you can go and kill his stronghold. Yeah, and he's going for. I guess it makes sense to go for restoration of balance here. Um, if if Smurf has a Mirmoto's Fury, that can be quite powerful as well. I believe he does. Oh no, he's he spent the one we've seen, so he he'd have to have drawn. Yeah, them. which um, is quite possible. There's only eleven conflict cards left. Yeah. Thing is, at this hope... point, at this go point, on. I'm thinking about letting him have this. Fire is really bad though. Oh, this is just a, such a hard spot. Medicines. Okay, so for me, I don't so, understand why you defend it all if you're just going to throw him. You've got seven on her. Yeah, because the box is on, right? Uh, you defend with this guy, he gets bad by the box. Yippee. Yeah, well, you're never going to prevent the break. So it's just to it's just pre to prevent the one on a loss, but then you lose an ability to poke with that guy i don't think you need to park though well, yeah well you just yeah, lose a skill you, you lose a skill you can use for another conflict oh he's got the favor so that gives him an extra skill i just don't, no. i just don't get that decision i'd rather just well, lose the one honor what's under what's under mountains anvil castle or whatever it's called um, if it's if it's like the prototypical uh, dragon cra splash crab build, it'll be rally to the cause. Hmm. I think this is a good play. This is kind of what I had in mind. I was thinking, what what could you pull back to break keep breaking this province and uh, sort of still have a really good go at uh, the stronghold. So yeah. I like that play of moving back. Uh, the what's her name? And you now you <laughs> honor you honor two guys with two glory. It's pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Okay, oh, so he's got the dishonor. Yeah. So this this noble signifies a noble sack. Yeah, but noble sack was gone. The one we saw was gone. Yeah. So this Does to it, me this I says that he's drawn one really in his five bid. You reckon? Who are you gonna? Yeah, I suppose. Otherwise, why if would you? If you did draw. Yeah, but there, if you did draw comes. one... There it is. What? Boom. Oh, yeah, she's bad. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. And Ronan is looking at his hand, realizing he's to stop it with. But... This is no censure. <laughs> It'd be cool if he had a finger of jade. <laughs> It'd be cool if he had a finger of jade or something. Yep. <laughs> and Hitaru... <laughs> I don't think finger of jade works uh, in that scenario, uh, does it? Uh, yeah, it still targets the guy. Yeah, yeah, but is it in the effect box or is it in the the cost? If it's in the cost, I think finger jade no, can trigger No, because as long as it's tar. No, you absolutely can cancel that card. Yeah. Um, that okay. storyteller has has provided a lot of value to Hideyoshi. It's a couple extra cards. It's been what two 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 extra cards? Yeah, two, so oh, you got yeah. That's not bad. It's good. He's just a decent body. Um, granted, he would have preferred to see Guest of Honor, I think. Or well, maybe not necessarily against Dragon, but... 
See, when I play against Angus, he gets three Guest of Honours against me, but I'm not playing Dragon, so I can't really take advantage of the... You know? Chris Bunkin says that was pretty brutal. Yeah, I agree. But um, <laughs> at the same time, yeah, man, like he played a finger of jade on a guy who who was leaving. I think play Hideyoshi. I think I think Angus felt that was so good. He's just he's just going <laughs> he's out like, for smoke. That, that, deserves, take- that deserves for this guy to just leave play without using finger of jade. Uh, great, <laughs> great play. <laughs> that was so good. This game really felt like one that from my perspective unraveled a little bit from a couple key mistakes but also two bad flops in a row the first one was just a little suboptimal the second one was actually quite bad like this turn's flop was yeah. quite bad i would say pretty pretty punishing pretty punishing dynasty draws from poor old smith yeah because like he hasn't seen a single knee 10 master he's seen one investigator one yukuni uh and no sumikos it, and he'd probably be playing it does mean tickets. that the rest of his dynasty is pretty gold <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Yeah, he's got to get through. Imagine you just flip like two Pistorius and two, uh, what's her name, Sumikos, right? And then you're like, oh, perfect, I got the rest of this game. Two <laughs> 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 All right, Angus is back. There's also that play where he chose to discard. Oh, oh no, no, I guess he has to, doesn't he? Pass in his conflict. Yeah, you can't let your opponent get an unopposed run at your stronghold. Oh, yeah, it's probably not super cool. Well, we know he's got, he's got an assassination, be... so this character is going away. Yep. Okay, so we've got a military mm. conflict coming up here. Maybe all of the conflict characters have arrived now. <laughs> this is actually like, if you if you set aside the mistakes, quite a close match, I think been very swingy and i think for a long time it felt like dragon like the smurf the dragon player had a had the upper hand and then i think as you said a couple of suboptimal dynasty flips and and the game's kind of swung right back around <laughs> yep <That's laughs> yeah i want to use it <laughs> <ever>. <laughs> oh dear so uh out of a hundred uh times how many times do you think that um smurf activates rally here well, <laughs> at this time of night, given this sort of pressure, given this sort of game, maybe a couple. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a shame Assassinate doesn't sort of count the total unit cost as opposed to just the character cost. You mean so the I, skill? I do believe there's... No, 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 the unit... Oh, like attachments and stuff. Unit cost, right? Yeah. yeah. So you attach a bunch of stuff and increase the unit cost. Do they have the Do they have the the concept of unit in um from five R? I don't not. think so. I think I think that might be an old five R concept. No. Oh. This will definitely foil a uh, assassinate. Unless he's got oh. a um. Well, here we go. <laughs> unless he's got a calling in favors. You take what is this military? Uh, yeah, it is. Bonsai. Take, bonsai. Take Bonsai. Take your voice of honor. That's good. Voice of honor and Bonsai, right? Yep. Yep. This should be the icing, I think. <clears throat> Both players have lost three provinces. Yeah. Yeah, in terms of their their sort of state, their game state, it's, it doesn't really get too, too much closer. If Smurf can manage to survive, he does have that first player token next turn. And like we said, his his um, dynasty side is likely to be pretty top loaded, top heavy. So, hmm. and Bonsai on the representative. Go ahead and lose an honor, I suppose. Or not. Still not breaking, right? Yeah. It didn't. I, I didn't think you would not add another two on another two skill. I think we can manually do that, right? That seems like something we should just let him manually do. If they if they do agree to it, yeah. Yeah, I think in those kinds of situations, 
it's really up to your opponent to to allow or disallow that kind of stuff. Although yeah. I did hear, uh, I think it was Mind's Desire said recently that the best way to figure this kind of stuff out is actually do it at the start of the game. So you know, misclicks and take backs and that kind of stuff. How are we going to handle it? And then just just do that. Personally, yeah. I'm not a fan of take backs and misclicks are one thing, right? Like in this case, like you pick the wrong ring or you sort of attack. Provinces are actually tough because as soon as you, by the time you actually realize you've clicked the wrong province, it's face up. So I think, in that I think you can't, you really can't, can't take that take back, it. but something like this. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I agree. If you go to the help, I think there's a command line. Uh, maybe not for adding skill. Just manual mode. All right. Oh, yeah. Kind of a sloppy workaround, but. Yeah. <laughs> the exciting world of the user other, interface yeah the, the other thing of course about take backs and all this type of things is just a pain in the ass to you know get all the things in the right place again yeah the official yeah. rules of this tournament are of course your opponent is not obliged to um, yeah. honor any sort of misclicks yeah Yeah, you get into this kind of situation. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe click on it, like use it as an action. Yeah, just... Right. Oh, God. Just, I think you can just, like, click on your dude and go plus one force or something. I don't know. <laughs> can you do that? I don't know. I, I have no idea, but something tells me this hole is going to get a lot deeper before <laughs> before it's <gets> much shallower. <laughs> going through the looking glass. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do? We're going to get to a stage where like all the characters have been discarded. On the <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was some Discord game on the Global League, which I think like it got to like two hour mark or something, and it ended through a disqualification oh, yeah. I, I was watching that game that live was... oh. <laughs> that was so it's actually game. like they... a really close nail-biting game it went on for like two and a half hours and then yeah, yeah. ended with the it was a guy who accidentally played mono no yeah, twi yeah twice yeah twice or something one, yeah. wasn't it it was like he, and he accidentally it. played yeah. mono no yeah. and then dragged a mirror meta series from his discard to his hand yeah, and it was and horrible. Then, the way they resolved it was it actually incorrect, in my opinion. You mean resolve the dispute? Yes. <laughs> by DQing, by DQing the guy because he made a use. Yeah, it's pretty horrible. Well, he saw he saw a card in his hand, and I think yeah, no, I, I get it. I, I I understand why the ruling was made, but still, here's what ha here's what happened, right? You you know the fury, um, the, you know what the card is, right? So you can move the fury from his hand back to the discard. No worries, right? And the mono, no aware, you just rule that he played the card. And then it doesn't matter that you drew the card. Like, you played that card, but you're still able to try and win the game. But they just auto-disqualified oh, yeah, yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they auto-disqualified him instead. Yeah, I agree with that. But they, they didn't they didn't come to that conclusion until, I don't know, 10 minutes or something. Yeah, it was old. ridiculous. Because the secondary admin was, like, away eating lunch or some shit. Mm. Anyway. Yeah, I'm lunch. Back to this game. I wonder what the skill totals are. <laughs> no clue. Put oh, it on the rep. <laughs> this is. I'm, I'm reading through this. This is just thrilling, thrilling entertainment for our viewers, right? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. What's going on, chat? Chat's just chilling. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if everybody's just like asleep at their keyboards at this point. Can't drag it, drag from discard. Could it, I think I think we got to stop it at this point, honestly. Um, probably we should just say can't be fixed. Uh oh, do we have a client issue? My game is frozen. 
Usually that's like a disconnect. If you hit refresh on the browser, it should fix that one. It'd be a shame. I don't think it's going to cost anybody the game. It might It might mean that Hideyoshi doesn't win right now. His board position for the next turn is completely fine. Yep. I agree. I think the crane's in the driver's seat. Yeah. So at this point, uh, it would probably just go, can't fix it. Sorry. You know, something interesting happened uh, the other day. I was watching a stream or a game or something, and somebody clicked on... Oh, it was one of the spectators. Oh, it was uh, Rager's, Rager's uh, VODs. Clicked on the stream, and clicked on the Dynasty pile, and he was actually able to show or shuffle the Dynasty pile. Which as a spectator? Kind of yeah, as a spectator. The deck? The Dynasty deck, yes. Oh, sorry, yeah, I said discard pile, I meant deck. Huh, when I click show, it never works for me. You mean nothing happens, or...? Yeah, like can't... nothing happens, even when I'm playing. Like, I can't look at my own deck or my opponent's deck. Bird, are you messaging us on Discord? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, Chris is. Right, because I typed his name into chat four dozen times. <laughs> that bastard is forsaking the Hidden City Rollers for his uh, three-day-old daughter. What a bastard. Mm. Priorities. Horrible, horrible life decisions, you know? Growing up, um, what's a down, wibble? starting a family. Although, it's a pretty good, like, it's a pretty good card if you think about it, right? So it's like, cost one, zero, zero. Reaction, when, you're, when your dad wants to go and do something fun, cancel it. <laughs> <laughs> Not everything in life is an L5R card. No. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Okay, are we back All in the right. game? I believe so, stuff? yeah. Okay, so, Katana's. I'm just going to take good. a quick AFK. You guys are welcome to keep talking. I'm just going to grab another bev. So oh, I'll no, we'll just chat. chill until you get back in silence. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. got to keep the viewers, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're dropping like Sweet. flies, baby. I'll be back. I'll be back in a minute. All right. So, what do we got? Fight uh, Katana, yep. And they're celebrating the fact that they're going to continue the... Yeah. All right. So we've got some action now. <laughs> Doji Hideyoshi has actually passed. Okay. So I think we're back in sync with the, the flow of the game, right? Pass to end the conflict. Okay. After all of that, they both pass anyway. Uh, so who win who's winning the conflict here? So there's a Katana on there. I think it's a win to Hideyoshi, but not a break. Yep, cool. Uh, no, we're not over yet. It's not even close to over. Now they've got to work out whether those totals are accurate. I think they are. Where did the fan where did the katana come from? That is in place of a bonsai. Right. So they <laughs> that's part two the, of a bonsai. The proxy bonsai. And it's did we proxy. did he actually lose the honor for it? I didn't see anybody lose honor. Uh, I think he did. Let's say he did. Uh, <laughs> Uh, oh, just... rally's breaking. All right. You got to use the box here, I think. Oh, there's Plus plenty. The box. Yeah, there's like nine cards left. Like, this battle's got some time oh, to go. Let go. Wait, what? Let go the katana? Ah, uh, one. Oh, no, there was a legit katana. Yeah, I think there was a legit katana on one of them and a fake on the other. All right. Well, um, it's back. So the fine, uh, fine katana is back on Asami. Oh, so sweet. rally is breaking again. You got to use the box at least. I don't know if there's more cards in hand. Nine cards in hand. There's, there's plenty. Should be. And there's like right? four fate. A bunch of attachments. There's all sorts of shit. Have we seen? Um, have we seen Smurf play a bonsai yet? No. I don't think so. Okay. That's entrenched position on the crane strong. Said that very confidently, but. Right. I'm having a look now. We have seen him play one, oh. or at least discard one. All right, there you go. Okay. Made, made, made me look like a fool. You gotta play, <laughs> you gotta play the 
straighten that Chigenja. Man, I'm jealous Don't of you worry. guys. You guys are in the awesome Merlin mansion setup where you've got a full fucking projector, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes, we are it's looking at a projector with our sweet microphones. That's mm -hmm. so awesome, man. What a great experience that is to commentate a game like that. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Why don't you get your ass over here? No, oh, we might be seeing a GG. Admit defeat. Yeah, I think admit defeat, yeah. All that Has finagling. Is going to admit defeat? <laughs> All that finagling the system for that. <laughs> yeah. This is this is what you want uh, uh, as Hideyoshi. I, I like I like the fact that he drew out a bunch of cards, like just kind of went buff for buff, and then he's like, it, "I'm just going to bow you." Yeah, because even Good if he plays quality. a conflict character, he can assassinate him. This is true. No, oh no, we've got assassinate's been played this turn. I think wow, he should have nah. played that. No, nah, he's still got an assassinate. Yeah, I know he's still got one, but I think one's already been played this turn in the previous conflict. I don't but, believe you know what, so. Was like twenty minutes ago, I can't. Kind of I don't. I don't. I don't think he has. I think it was. I think it was last turn. All right, we are about to find out. The voice of uh, honor cancels mm. bonsai. So there was a bonsai. Yeah. Okay. That's right. going to be game. Rally's breaking. You got to make up. Oh, that's a lot of, a lot of strength to make up. A lot of skill to make up. This is, is a weakness of. Left? It's a weakness of rally to the cause as a stronghold. If your opponent is aware or expecting it, it's um the value of it shoots way lower. Mm. Against very very good Same. thinking players, all it does is buy you a conflict basically. A desperate, uh, a desperate expenditure of resources to try and save this province at the moment. Well, when you're behind, you have to take bigger and bigger risks. Yeah. Right? The... This character's going to get assassinated because he's got an assassinate. All right, that's it. Pass, pass. GG, well played to Doji Hideyoshi. Taking out last league's champion in a... What was it? Close to two-hour game. So, uh, well done mm -hmm. to both players. It was a bit of an epic back and forth. Um, once again, fraught with mistakes, as these late night games are. But, I mean, it's easy to uh, sit from the sidelines and pick apart people's play. And, um, yeah. you know. <laughs> you don't have complete You don't have complete information, And, and, right? and Jikiku yeah. is a cruel mistress. But it was a, it was a good game. Um, lots of deep thinking involved. And especially in those early turns, there was some... Some really uh, interesting decisions Smurf made early on, especially that turn one, like conserving those resources, not overspending. Yeah, there were some really interesting lines of play, like the, um, turn one, not, not using the favorable ground at all. I was kind of curious. Yeah. There's a couple of cool, interesting things. Uh, I just want to say thanks to you guys for joining me on this cast. And, oh, uh, well, thank you for having us. Oh, dude, any time. Were you talking course. to the audience? I was talking uh, to you guys. And uh, to the audience... Oh. Um, Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll keep doing these casts for our Discord League, and I occasionally do um, casts for the Global League, and we'll occasionally just jump on here and play random crap games. So uh, just check back for more L5R content. And Bert, you should make it over here. There's a couch in here now. Oh, dude, I can't wait. <laughs> I, I wanted to come today, man. I just, I just, uh, I got roped up in some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got furied. I hear it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I swear thanks. to God, everything you really is. is thanks, Twitch. I oh, will see you later, Twitchiverse.